Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the best free VPNs for Mac. Now, there are a ton of different VPNs available, so it did take quite some time to go through them to find the best ones and test them out, narrow it down. But after a lot of research and testing, I think I found the top two best VPNs, and they would be this one right here, Proton VPN and Winscribe. The reason we're going with two here is because each one of them is a little bit different. They're not necessarily for the same person. In short, Proton VPN is going to be for somebody who wants a lot of security and anonymity, privacy, but not necessarily to use a VPN for something like streaming or torrenting. Winscribe, on the other hand, is going to be a lot better for that kind of stuff for streaming, but it isn't necessarily going to be the best if you want to use a VPN a lot, and it isn't necessarily going to be as good as Proton VPN. When it comes to privacy, it is pretty solid, but not like Proton VPN. As usual, there will be a ton more information and links in the description, but let's get into it. First, let's talk about streaming. VPNs like these are used in order to access content libraries on streaming platforms like Netflix, Hulu, or Disney Plus that aren't normally available in the location where you physically live. Every streaming platform offers different content in different countries, and you can use a VPN like these in order to change your location and make it seem as if you're somewhere else and access different content. Now, between these two, the only only one that will let you do that is Winscribe. Proton VPN in their free tier does not allow for streaming or torrenting as well. It's just not set up for it. On top of that, while both of them allow you to connect to 10 different countries with Proton, it used to be less, somewhere like five, and then recently they upgraded and matched Winscribe's 10, but still Winscribe will allow you to choose exactly which of those 10 countries to connect to. With Proton though, you have to click auto connect and it'll randomly connect you up to a country. So if you're looking for a VPN purely to access streaming content, Winscribe is going to be the obvious choice. On the other hand, when it comes to privacy, Proton VPN, I mean, this is the company that made Proton Mail. They're just well known. They have a really great reputation. And when it comes to independent no logs policy audits, meaning that outside companies have come in and checked out the VPN to ensure that they're not keeping any user information and that they don't have any vulnerabilities. You don't have to worry about data leaks, things like that. Proton VPN has done as of now four different audits from 2022 up to 2025. In contrast, Winscribe does have officially a no logs policy and they have done some independent audits, but nothing like Proton VPN. And they definitely just don't have that reputation that Proton has. Now, another thing to consider is your data cap. So it's really common for a free VPN to put a cap on how much data you can use with the VPN. And Winscribe does that. You start off with five gigabytes. If you share your email address with them and agree to get some promotional emails, then you go up to 10 gigabytes. And if you share a post about them on X, you'll get 15 gigabytes. That's per month. But with Proton VPN, it is unlimited. Even in their free tier, there is literally no limit to how much data you can use with this VPN, which is really great if you're looking to consistently use this as your go-to free VPN. Another thing to consider is the features. Proton VPN does not have in their free version a lot of features. It's very basic. You have five countries to choose from. You can connect to them and make it seem as if you're in that location, get more privacy and security. Not much more other than that in the free tier. On the other hand, with Winscribe, even on Mac, which sometimes can be more limited when it comes to VPNs, Winscribe has a really extensive feature set. You're just going to get a ton of different things that you can do with this VPN even in their free tier. And I keep mentioning free tier because both of these VPNs do offer a paid plan. I don't generally recommend completely free VPNs. And the reason for that is very simple. If the VPN is free, that means they're making money off of you somehow. Usually it's by taking your personal information and keeping it and then selling it to advertisers and marketers. Other times the VPN itself might have really annoying ads, whatever it is, it's just not going to be a very good experience. A lot of times those complaints completely free VPNs just don't work very well at all. That's what I found over and over again with these free VPNs. Your best bet is to go with the free tier of an essentially paid VPN. It happens to be that if you did actually want to move up from one of these free VPNs to the paid option, then you're better off going with Proton VPN. It's actually quite a bit cheaper than Winscribe, and you're going to get a lot more with it. You're going to get 126 countries and some really nice features as well in that paid version. 
Of course, if you want to find out more about the top paid VPNs, I will have information and discount links for those in the description as well. Whichever way you go, if you're looking for the best free VPN on Mac, these two right here are great to try out. Proton VPN is not going to work for streaming and torrenting, but is pretty much amazing at everything else. And Windscribe, even though you do have that 10 gigabyte limit, will work for streaming and torrenting and is a very nice VPN in its own right. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, any other topic you want me to cover. Have an amazing day and I'll see you in the next one.